Okay, I decided to do a little more walking through here. I'm still here. There's that Camry I told you about right there. See, they got cameras all over the place. Um, but this is a cool car. <sighs> Again, this looks like the last one, but the headlights are a little bit different. Um, that could be a 30s or 40s car. It's got the humpback. And it could be a 41, because the one I looked at in Hartwell was a 41 and it had this like hump looking thing in the back of course they didn't have a trunk in there they had it all sealed up this is a rough one though really rough really rough car here well yeah cool stuff though and these are all numbered also so um Everything's numbered here. There's 31. Now they had a 68 Pontiac here I was gonna buy. Um, I don't see it around. He must have sold it to, it was right around this area here. But you can see he's got a few cars here. I'm not gonna go through them all. Um, I wish I was live. Oh, there's a 68 right over there. That's the one. Yep, I think he wanted a grand for that thing. Motor was locked down. But look, he's got cars everywhere. Let me, let me try to zoom in. I'm not going to walk around. I'm getting a little nervous now. Those look like all fastbacks back in there. Old fastbacks. 50s? Maybe? His prices were kind of high back eight years ago when I was here last, but, uh, and that's probably why he, he hasn't sold much. Um, I just bought a 68 Catalina, a real nice one. I don't know if buying this would be worth it or not. If I, even if I can get a hold of anybody. You like this thing? That's awesome. That's custom right there. Uh, Four-door Chevy with a camper top on it. Probably got a hole in the roof or something. Here's another old, uh, I don't know what this is. That's a four-door suicide doors also. Now here's something I can use. This little hoist thing on this truck. That's pretty neat. Oh, here's another Catalina. That's a 60s, uh, three, four, maybe. Yeah, look, there's cars over there in the weeds. You can't hardly see them. There's something funny looking. Big old Ford with something on the back. Yes, this is number 62. So you know you got at least 62 cars here. Yeah, this is rough, rough, rough. I paid three grand for mine and it's beautiful. And he wanted a grand for this thing, but you know, I ain't, it is what it is. But yeah, you got cars over there. That's not mowed. You got this thing. Now this looks like it could be a 50s. I was actually heading to uh, Spartanburg because there's a big junkyard up there I was gonna do today. But I'm killing a little too much time here so I probably won't be going there today. I go home and do some editing with this uh, footage. Yeah, that car, that car's rough. Rough, the window's falling out of it. I see a 59 over there, 59 Chevy. Right there. Yeah, that's cool stuff. Let's see what we got over here, if we can try to see anything. Now, I know he had a lot more cars in here. All this was full, side by side, all the way through here. There's an old one down there. This is kind of a, kind of a little uh, gold mine. Sorry, I'm videotaping into the sun, but I'm not about to crawl through that grass. 
But yeah, look at these things. This is awesome. I know, I, I know, I know I can get in trouble for this. I just know it. Now, last time I was here, I went inside and sat down, had coffee with the people. Uh, of course, again, that was eight, eight, maybe ten years ago. Number 59 here. We had, what, 63 before, right? So. Old Chevy right here. I mean, he's got cars. I mean, there's, you know, there's probably a hundred cars here because I, cause I know there's more weighing down in the back too. 